School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by Saskatchewan Pulse Growers and BASF. Welcome to Real Agriculture's Pulse School series. I'm Kara Oosterhouse. In this episode, I talked to Sherilyn Phelps, who is an agronomy specialist with Saskatchewan Pulse Growers. Sherilyn and I talk at Ag in Motion in Saskatchewan about what some of the options are for you when it comes to desiccating your peas and lentils, as well as what you need to know going into this year's pulse harvest. Well, when it comes to harvest management, it all really depends on the field and the conditions. So there's kind of two things to consider. One is the evenness of the field itself. So if it emerged well and all the plants are looking very similar in terms of stages of development, that's one thing if you're considering just letting the crop dry down on its own is that it should be fairly even in order for that to happen. The other thing to consider is the weed pressure. So if you have a lot of weeds in the field and the field is fairly dirty, then they are not going to be drying down at the same time as the crop is. And in that case, a desiccation would be important. And what sort of losses do you see when you drive through that field with a uh, sprayer? You'll just, you know, you may see some losses in the, in the field, the, the tracks a little bit, but a lot of times they can pick those up with the combine as well. Okay, so what would be, I guess besides moisture, what would be the benefits of desiccating versus just waiting? The benefits of desiccating is that you're drying down all the crop material to an even moisture content. So it's all drying down so that it can be dry fairly quickly. If you're leaving it and just letting Mother Nature take its course, you need good drying conditions um, and you need the crop to be all at the same stage so that it's all drying down at, at the same rate and to the same level. If you have varying maturity in there or crops at different stages, say some areas came up later or just are, are growing differently, staying green, then you're going to have patches in the field where they're still green and you're going to have patches in the field where it's ready to combine so that it makes harvest difficult. And what about options such as, I know lots of producers will put glyphosate on and then like I said, let the heat take its course. What about that versus an actual registered desiccant? Well, the difference between a product like glyphosate and desiccation is, is glyphosate is more of a harvest management. It's more for managing the weed control. So if you have things like Canada thistle or other perennials in there, at harvest time when those when those crops are starting to bolt and, and hitting the reproductive phases when you're applying the glyphosate it's being taken down into the roots so you're getting some perennial weed control so the advantage to using the glyphosate is in areas where you have more weeds and more perennial weeds particularly um, also the the glyphosate can be used to just you know dr bring all the weeds into maturity as well it's not going to quicken the dry down but it will eventually you know, end up with the whole crop and the weeds being dead and ready for harvest. Okay, anything you'd like to add? In desiccation, the majority of them are contact herbicides, so using good water volumes is key. With the glyphosate, um, it's not as imperative to have high water volumes. It will still be active under the lower water volumes, but it is a slower uh, dry down. 